Fred Film Radio, I'm Matt Micucci from the 79th Venice International Film Festival and I'm very pleased to be joined by Guy Davidi. Thank you very much for Hi, being thank here. Thank you, thank you for having me. Uh, filmmaker and presenting a film called Innocence here at the festival. So uh, I'm a big fan of your works and I, and, I, and I had seen Five Broken Cameras before. It's a very powerful documentary, I'm sure uh, some of you might have seen it. And back here with this film, uh, would you mind just giving us a brief kind of introduction? Because it is quite a, quite a hybrid and interesting project, this one. Um, yeah, it's, it's basically it's a film about the pressure that uh, young Israelis, young people and children are facing um, in Israel as they are being prepared and tracked to become uh, military soldiers, mm. um, which is obligatory in Israel. Right. So why is it, uh, just, just so that people know, why is it, uh, do you well, think? <clears throat> military service has been, is like uh, the most important part of identity of Israel, uh, maybe together with the fact that uh, it's a Jewish country. So um, everybody has to do it, everybody wants to do it, or mm. at least many people wants to do it, because it, it is such an important part of the identity of people. So s children are being ki kind of tracked to think uh, of themselves as one day they will become soldiers. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it is obligatory also by the law, so you have to do, men have to do uh, three years and women have to, do, to serve two years. There's not much choice about it, or at least they made, uh, make us think that there's not much choice about it. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's uh, yeah. the story that's constructed from an early age, right? You mentioned myth, you mentioned the power of that as well. Uh, well, well, the beginning of the story was to, for me, was to track uh, texts and uh, to build a narration that is going to be very, uh, very hard and difficult for people to handle of soldiers who really really was were against to serve they didn't feel like doing it they felt it breaks their identity it breaks their values they are saying really hard things um it's also very poetic text it's come coming out of diaries and poetry and uh, these uh, these guys that are depicted in the film the the narration is built upon their voices um they are basically we are experiencing how they break down and how they surrender and they become soldier finally they are not objecting or anything like that even though some of them think about that so it's it's a, a little bit of film to show to for international audience it's a film that exposes actually what it really means to go against everyone around you um, and then in order to build the film because i didn't want to have interview it's a real uh, documentary um, we have filmed other kids and teenagers who are nowadays facing with the same kind of um, track of uh, becoming soldiers. So we film in kindergarten where they're being told, um, you know, you can uh, paint whatever you want, but, uh, but green is nice to paint tanks with, for instance, or right. something like that. So it's, a, it's y the military and the preparation to become soldiers just in every inch of your life. Yeah. It's quite odd. And, and in the film, too, there's a, I mean, it is a documentary, like you said, but the, the, the range of styles, too. I mean, we go from archival footage, uh, home videos, uh, real, you know, uh, new, newer footage, uh, you know, controlling that and having a pace to it. I feel like this, that was also important to you, the yeah. rhythm of the film. Yes, it, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to create an epic film, like a film that yeah. really s covers, like, from start to end what it means to grow up in Israel and because this is a subject that has been dealt with I wanted this to be the film that you have to watch about it the film that is uh, that really shows you and makes you feel the, pr the the process and and I also wanted the poetry of the of the text to be the leader of the film so so you are going to places that are really um, surprising as, a, as an audience, it's not what you think you're going to see, and you're going to see horses, and uh, and you're going to see crazy weird archive from the training of the military, and you're going to spend the time with, um, yeah, with children, and and um, and then to see this really beautiful archive of uh, soldiers who died basically in the military from their childhood, so you get to experience actually what it means. Um, to to lose a child basically yeah yeah uh what uh, do you think is uh, i mean do you see this changing in any way are you hoping that it will change what, what what is your statement then uh, um, with this film I, I i think the expectation that israel uh, would change from inside is uh, it's very naive while the world is so supportive of israel politics 
and especially economically, and especially when it comes to military. Israel is, uh, Israeli military is doing a big commerce and big success worldwide selling and buying weapons. And I, I wanted to open a discussion about what actually military is doing to a society and how military and serving in the military, whether it's obligatory or not, whether it's in the context of Israel and another context, how it actually crashes people and how it ruins our identity and our humanity. And, and, and I feel that it's a tool for parents um, worldwide, and particularly in Israel, to be sensitive to, to the education of the children, to the circumstances of life of the children. Particularly in Israel, I imagine that parents, that the ideal response for me is a parent that watches the film, decides, I'm going to do everything I can that my child is just not going to be part of anything that is connected to military in any way possible, even if it demands immigration, I would say. Yeah. Well, that's very interesting and certainly a powerful documentary. And thank you very much for joining us and talking with us about it. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. This much. is Fred Film Radio, the Festival Insider.